Hello friends, Eli here from Mystic Circuits. Today I want to show you about using the Spectrumere as a modulation source and processor. The Spectrumere is usually used for downsampling sorts of effects. At very low sampling frequencies, a tremolo sort of effect is achieved, but when the audio is silent, the sample and hold output is not actually zero. As it turns out, the silence is just a really long hold portion in a track and hold, so there's actually a DC voltage being held during the silence. Right now, I have the spectrum mirror set up with a very short pulse width in order to simulate a random voltage source sample and hold sort of behavior. The output is going into the FM input, really the one volt per octave input because it's DC coupled on our mangrove oscillator, and the input is a wavetable sheep oscillator. You can hear as I change the spectrum mirror's frequency, the speed of random modulation increases. Now, as I turn up the pulse width control, you will hear some of the original signal from Sheep's oscillator being passed through, almost like the modulation is switching between an audio rate signal and a sample and hold. In fact, we can use our pulse width control to alternate between these two modulation sources in an interesting way. By using the VCA output, we can attenuate or invert the signal with the morph control, or by modulating the morph parameter. The morph output itself can also make some interesting modulation waveforms. With morph at 12 o'clock, the input signal is passed through unaffected. With morph moving counterclockwise, some high frequency spikes are created with the high pass sampling effect. At lower frequencies, the input signal is shifted up or down by the DC voltage coming from our sample and hold.
Clockwise, the output will become the sum of the input signal and the output of the sample and hold. Processing much slower modulation sources. Processor, but also for processing CV and modulation. Thank you for watching.